Now what I want to do is let's go into the master and actually take a look at where this information is positioned on the master and what we might be able to do to change that. So to access the master, we're going to go up to view. We're going to choose slide master. You can see now I've got a box down here for page number, a box for my footer information, and a box for the date and time. By selecting these boxes, I have the ability now to do such things as, oh, maybe make the text bold and italicized. Okay? I can also move this around and reposition it. Maybe I want this information to move up. Maybe I want to scoot it down more. Again, I'm just using my arrow keys to move this around. So this is the, what we do on the master. We begin to make customized changes to the things that, are, that are, occur universally in all the slides in our presentation. And that's just an example of what I can do with my header and footer. Okay? Now it's really important that we pay attention to where we're making these types of changes. I want you to look over on the left hand side of the screen. Do you see how you see a bunch of little thumbnails there? Very similar to the thumbnails you get of all the slides in your presentation when we're in the normal view. The difference here is what you're seeing are the layouts that we have for all of the slides in our presentation. Here's the title layout. This is title and content, the most common type of slide we'll add. This one is for a section heading. This is for two content layout. Now if you're saying to yourself, oh, I don't really remember where these come from, let me just leave the master for a second. I'm going to close my master view. I'm going to come back out to my slides in progress. Okay? And I'm going to remind you that when you add a new slide, you also have the ability to change the layout of that slide. In other words, what type of information are you going to put on this slide? These layouts that you see, title, title and content, section header, to content, comparison, so on and so forth, these right here, these layouts represent what we see over here. Slide layout, uh, title slide layout, title and content, section header, to content layout. You making the connection now? Good, because now what I want to show you is this guy up here. This is the slide master. This is the master that governs everybody. So if you want to make a universal change that affects all of the layouts, regardless of style, you would make that change on this master at the top. If, however, you wanted to make a change just to slides who used one type of layout, you would click on that specific layout and make modifications only to it. You following me? Let me show you. So I'm going to come up here to the slide master that governs everyone. And I'm going to go to the title. I'm going to select the title. I'm going to go to my home tab and I'm going to opt to make all my titles italicized and let's change the color. I'm going to make it really dramatic so you can definitely see what I'm doing. We'll make it red. Do you see how that change trickled through all the slides down here? Did you see that? Terrific. Let's go take a look at, I'm going to exit my master view. Let's go take a look at my slides and see how this affected the slides. So you can see now each slide in the presentation now has a red title. So that's what happens when we go to, I'm going to go back to view, slide master. When I make a change at the very top of all of these icons, it's going to ripple through everyone. That's different than if, for instance, I went to just my slide title. Okay, this is just the slide title now. <clears throat> and I'm going to come here, I'm going to go to home, and I'm going to say I want my slide titles to be purple, not italicized, but underlined. Do you see how I made that change here? But it's only affected that layout. It didn't ripple down through everybody else like it did when I change the appearance of the slide titles from up at the top. And if I now leave my master, close my master view, where that change has gone into effect is only on that first slide. See how that works? So that's important to know. We now have the ability to make global universal changes for all our slides off the master, but we can also make global changes on a layout by layout basis. So I can, for instance, go to my title layout and make a change that will affect only it. And I only have one title slide in this particular presentation, but if I were to add another new slide now, 
and change the layout to title. Look at that. Oops. It's going to hold that style.